Beyond the hills of Middletown, Pennsylvania, an eerie sight rises through the haze. Four nuclear cooling towers and a reactor that caused the worst nuclear accident in the United States. Reactor number two at Three Mile Island. That's when you change sixth grade. Rosalie Taylor was raising two boys in Middletown when she learned radiation may have leaked out of the plant. Safety officials told residents to stay inside. You just sat in your house with everything closed and wondering if there was going to be a meltdown or not. At first, then Governor Dick Thornburg said no. The people of Pennsylvania can get the facts they need. But the next day, he recommended the evacuation of pregnant women and small children. Now, 32 years later... We didn't want to... Uh, undertake an evacuation unnecessarily and we're constantly assessing the information we had to see if it was necessary. More than 120,000 people evacuated. It's a funny sensation to not know if you are going to come back to your home. I had to take a few things that were important to me and those few things are the two albums you saw of my sons and birth certificates. Dentist Sam Selker still works out of the same office he did in 1979. Rather than evacuating, he stayed to handle emergencies. All of my employees live within a five mile radius of Three Mile Island and I told them to wear their film badges 24 hours a day and keep it with them wherever they were. The devices showed no radiation exposure. Four days after the incident, President Jimmy Carter arrived. I think people purely and simply said if it's safe enough for the president and the governor to walk around in that plant, it must be pretty safe. All been canceled. Two days later, the incident was over. The containment structure worked. Most of the radiation did not escape. Years later, scientists determined that a jammed valve had caused cooling water to drain from the reactor core. So Ralph DeSantis is with the power company that runs Three Mile Island. With that water coming out, about half the fuel core became uncovered and that's where the partial meltdown occurred. Investigators blame the accident on equipment malfunction, human error, and lack of training. Because of Three Mile Island, every nuclear power plant must now have a room like this, a control room simulator, an exact replica of the nerve center of the plant. This is a training simulator that our control room operators train on uh, one week out of every six. The simulators feature alarm panels that are prioritized by color and sound. So operators know which alarms to respond to first. Unlike in 1979, when 400 different alarms blared, overwhelming operators. Tony Pietrangelo is with the Nuclear Energy Institute. Well, as a result of TMI, both our regulator and the industry looked in the mirror and said, we need to improve our operator training. We need to improve our emergency response capability. Three Mile Island temporarily stalled the growth of nuclear energy in the United States. It would be 30 years before the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission would even review an application for a new power plant. Reactor 2 at Three Mile Island was permanently shut down, but Reactor 1 and its cooling towers continue to operate. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.